Okay guys, welcome to part two of my PlayStation VR first impressions. This time around I'm going to be playing VR Worlds, Battlezone and Headmaster. So, just to recap from the first session, uh, Riggs made me feel rough. I'm going to be honest, it was a lot of fun. And it does say that you need to start with small sessions and work your way into it, but yeah, I felt real rough. I played for probably about six minutes and I was feeling horrible. So, you know, I think it depends on each person. As I said, I do get motion sickness when I'm on boats and stuff. Uh, nothing major, but I mean, that's the only game that I've played in VR that makes me feel rough. That one and Battlezone. Everything else, like when you're in a, a cockpit, it seems to work fine. Like Valkyrie was great. I played a bit of VR Wells yesterday as well, that was fine. So, yeah, word of warning, just to probably try this out before you buy it, because, you know, I don't think everyone is going to acclimatise to VR in the same way, but definitely really impressive, so let's crack on with VR Worlds. And you can see that there, that's pretty crazy. Some golden orb, it's now turned into water. Can you like move it around? No. I can see my controller though, that's weird. Okay. Right, so let's do Ocean Descent. Descend through the layers of the ocean, experience incredible marine life all around you. Okay, let's do that. I can't do the shark encounter, unfortunately, but I do have the full version of this game. So next week, I'll definitely be uh, trying out all of these modes. Okay, recentering, hold options to be center. Okay, I think I'm pretty centered. Now I can see below my uh, headset. I've been messing around with it, and if I have it completely tight to my head so I can't see anything, it's actually a little bit blurry, so I think it's different for everyone's head. But yeah, it's a shame that you can't actually angle this scope. You can move it forward and back, but you can't actually angle it, which is a bit of a shame. I, you know, I haven't really been using it this long, so maybe you need to mess around with the positioning of this bit and the tightening thing. But at the moment, yeah, that is a, a little bit annoying. It takes me out a tiny bit. If you're looking straight on or left and right, it's fine, but anytime I look down, I can see, you know, I can actually see light and see my actual room, which is a little bit annoying, but this is, this is cool. Right, so, graphics look good. You can see particles, bubbles, they look good. I mean, that is, yeah, that's pretty crazy, really. It does make you feel like you're actually there. some crazy little fishes there. What are they? Is that tuna? I don't know what that is, but it's pretty real. Got some bucket down there. Again, on this game, you can't see your legs, which is a little bit weird. So this is a nice change of pace from uh, Riggs. It's pretty relaxing. Oh, look. There's a stingray there. It just disappeared for a frame. It's back. Whoa, that is mad. Okay, that is cool. Fair enough. That is really, really trippy. Whoa, he's coming towards me. What are you doing, man? Don't eat me. No, oh, that is so cool. Wow. Yeah, that's some uh, pretty breathtaking stuff, guys, not gonna lie. And look at the bubbles as well, that's so cool. I'm just waiting for some shark to come. Yeah, it scared the shit out of me, right? bubbles over there. Even the way those wires are moving and that sort of dust. 
It's so well done. We've got some freaky little plants over there. Hmm. Little pocket rockets. This is crazy. It actually feels like you're in this thing. And look at that. What is that? Is that a jellyfish? Oh, shit. What's going on? Lights have gone off. Come on. Don't be a shark. There's no megalodon lurking down here. Please. I can't handle that right now. I'm not after rigs. Whoa. That is crazy. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, there's another one behind me. There's loads. Whoa. Damn, that is so cool. Music's nice as well. This is... This is pretty trippy. This is the sort of game that anyone can enjoy. Anyone in your family, just stick the headset on them and they'll be blown away. Okay guys, here we are. We are now in battle zone. And this is pretty cool, you're in a tank. The graphics are not amazing. I'm gonna say that right out the gates, but it is, it is a cool experience. Uh, again, this made me feel real queasy when I tried it yesterday. So let's see if I've acclimatized a little bit better over 24 hours. It's unlikely, but yeah, I mean, it's sick. You can look around, you see the tank, you know, even little smudges on that screen there. It's, there's great attention to detail, must be said. Welcome to Bacris X. Let's give it a go. So I have an 80 millimeter cannon, a heavy machine gun and an EMP. So let's give this a go. This looks like the roof of the Batman tumbler. Pretty sick. Okay, my screens are on. This is a map of the enemy's territory. Yeah, I think they really need to. I know the uh, PS Move controllers are sort of a halfway point, but I think once you're at the point where you've actually got gloves and you can actually move these things, you know, then it's going to feel really, really um, immersive. At this point, it's sort of, it's very nearly there. It's definitely better than anything I've tried. I've never tried actually. I've tried, you know, the phone and the headset thing. It's not the same. This is intense. It's a massive leg up and a really good start. But I think, yeah, the way that this is going to improve over the next five years is going to be massive. So if you're a massive gaming enthusiast, definitely get the VR now. And I probably recommend PSVR over the other two. And even though I haven't tried them, you know, I've read a lot about them and I just think you're going to get a lot more, a lot more games on the actual PSVR system because so many more people are going to buy this. But I think in a few years time is when it's really going to be good. Like you can see the graphics, you know, they're not going to blow your mind, but it's weird. It's like you're actually in some crazy warehouse. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Weapon test. Use the right stick to then fire, aim and fire at the target above. Let's try the cannon. Boom. All right. Okay, here we go. Pretty cool. Still feeling good, not feeling rough at this stage. It is mad when those cannons are moving around you, though. Oh, that is cool. Looks like Coruscant or something. Trippy. Okay. So, yes, when I spin, I feel rough. So, I'm going to try and not spin. Or just spin as little as possible. Right, where's some enemies? Oh. Okay, so as soon as I span, I started to get motion sickness. So, this game is not going to be for me. So I'm definitely going to give it a go. Okay. It's 
some kind of golden orb there. Let's get that. Whoa. Okay, so if I just spin the right stick, I don't get motion sickness. It's when I move both at the same time. That starts to feel rough. But it's definitely still there. Okay, so these are the advanced tanks. You can get behind them or just shoot them a few more times. Oh, shit. Boom! Come on, dude. You can't handle me. All right. That guy's down. This is a cool game though, you know, if you don't get motion sickness, definitely give it a go. But that's the great thing about this demo disc, you really can try everything out before just, you know, wasting your money on a game that you're not going to like. I think on the US disc you get a few more games, which is a shame, but you know, I think 8's good enough. lead on that. Whoa, we got flying things. Okay. Get that last sentry. I already got that. Okay. So yeah, when I'm just spinning a little bit, being a bit more conservative with it, not feeling that queasy. Here we go. Loads of little minions here. That's so sick though, that turret moving beside you, that's mad. EMP, come on! Boom! Oh, sick, look at them fall down. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so there you have it guys, battle zone. Pretty cool. Can make you feel a little bit rough. And that's what does worry me when you're in more... Uh, more motion intensive games like Farpoint, if you're moving around with a gun, is that going to make you feel rough? I don't know, to be honest with you, but I'd say 80% of the games I felt fine in, so I definitely, it's definitely worth giving this a go for yourself. This is actually the end, it's just showing you a few of the different levels that you can do. So I hope you've enjoyed this, we're now going to move on to Headmaster. As usual, let me know what you think of this game in the comments section. Okay, so this is Headmaster. This is basically a football game where you can only use your head. It's actually pretty cool. I imagine it's going to be one of the cheaper ones. But yeah, it is actually pretty fun. It's kind of weird as well. There's sort of an ominous undertone. You're kind of in a prison, I guess. And there's some pretty trippy warden talking to you. Track there. Okay. Hello, prospective student. Welcome. That bird's pretty cool though. Well, that is so weird, even just looking at a bird feels real, that is mad. Yeah, I mean, as I said, there's definitely a long way to go with VR, but it's already incredible. It's already going to blow your mind, definitely. Oh, here we go. Come on, give it me. Push. Oh, what goal! Oh, I've already got that one. What am I doing? Alright, here we go. Oh, there's two there. I didn't even see those. Come on, get that hundred. Oh! Oh, god damn it. That's pretty fun, though. That was fun. Is that it? Robert again. Oh, yeah, I did this one yesterday. This is fun. So you want to get that bomb, and then that gives you, like, bomb balls, and it blows everything up. There you go. Straight away got the bomb, so I want to smash all of those. No, that was a fail. Oh, that was awful. 
There we go. That's much better. Right, so I want to hit that. Boom! Go on, get that one at the back. Ah, oh, bollocks. Can I get top left? Is that even possible? Ah. Oh. Boom! Ah. Oh. Oh, nearly got it there. I can go bottom right, surely. That's nice and easy. 50. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That wasn't bad. That was better. Oh no, isn't it? Jesus, that came fast. Three balls remaining. Oh, how are you going to get it up like that? <sighs> Boom! Oh, it was awful. Oh! Right, I think that's it. You have earned cool. Four stars. Well done. Your adequate star total has qualified you to take our entrance exam. Okay, so this is actually another tease. You don't get to take any exam. It just makes you want to buy the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first impressions again as I go on. I really love it. Certain games do make me feel queasy though. And it's not good. It's not nice when you feel like that. But I think maybe as you get on, you're going to feel better and better. As I said, different games make you feel different as well. So they're not all as bad as each other. But I'm going to be doing part three. That's going to be showing you Drive Club and Tumble as well. So as usual, let me know what you thought of this in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.